Calvin Latricia, as both of you know, there have been lots of changes to the health care system in the last few years, and Republicans are trying to transform the system even more. But some people have been insulated from all of that uncertainty. Hey, babe, you ready to go? Clark and Kristen Campbell consider their son to be a blessing. Oh, buddy, that's sweet. But right before Reed was born, they were worried as they watched their health care costs skyrocket. Our health care uh, premiums uh, went from in the $700 range, and then in January of 2016 went to over $1,000, and then he was born at the end of the month, and we were like, there's, we can't afford this. There's no way. We're going to have to give up a car. We're going to have to move. We, we were at that point. Desperate to save money, the small business owner reached out on Facebook looking for a more affordable option. And someone recommended one of the uh, Christian healthcare sharing networks. The Campbells ditched their traditional insurance and signed up for MediShare. All we had to do was say we believe that Jesus is God's son, that we're Christians, and that we don't smoke and we don't do illegal drugs. So MediShare is really an alternative solution for people's health care. This is Michael Gardner, the organization's director of communications. He says thousands of people in the U.S. are moving away from traditional insurance and turning to the health care sharing program. There are almost 10,000 members in Tennessee, double that in Georgia. One of the main differences is that it's based upon direct member-to-member -member sharing. So, uh, you know, I know that each month I'm going to be contributing uh, funds into my sharing account and those funds are going to be used for other members health care bills. We usually get uh, an email or something with like the name of the family, not their full name, but part of their name that says you've helped um, Tom and Tricia um, and they're thankful for your blessing. Clark says it's amazing to know the money he pays for his own health care is helping out someone else, not to mention our premiums went from uh, we expected to be close to $1,300 down to less than $400 a month with similar benefits, not exact benefits, but very similar benefits. The benefits are different because MediShare isn't technically insurance. It's a nonprofit health sharing ministry, one of several in the country exempted from Obamacare regulations. None of them are required to provide the same level of coverage as traditional insurance providers. Routine checkups, for example, aren't included in MediShare plans. The idea is that MediShare um, is a very low cost solution. So so I can take some of the money that I'm saving and I can use it to plan for those types of things. These nonprofits aren't regulated. There's no oversight on the state level. So critics say members can't bring complaints to their insurance commissioner if their bills aren't paid. But Gardner says even for serious illnesses like cancer and organ transplants, MediShare is reliable. We've had individual needs of more than $1 million each. So our members have really helped to lift um, some significant health care burdens for people over the years. The Campbells say even though they may not have the protections they're used to, so far they have no regrets. It's been a little more than a year and we've saved a lot of money, we've helped families and we've had um, coverage for our family. Some of the most popular health care sharing programs do require you to be Christian, but there are ministries that accept members of all faiths. However, they do ask applicants to agree to honor a specific statement of beliefs or standards. Latricia? Catherine, thank you. Coming up at 6, hear how switching over to MediShare has changed the Campbell's experience of going to the doctor.